So Owen Cook was a massive mentor to me. I honestly love the fucker to death. Uh, he's one of the greatest uh, pickup coaches to ever, you know, grace planet Earth. I think he's one of the guys who actually moved everything forward. I personally am not a big fan of Mystery. I think Mystery, I, I feel like he started off the craze of the movement. However, I feel like he's a huge grifter. On the other hand, really? okay. yeah, I, I don't like Mystery. I'm not a big fan. I've met him a couple times. Owen, though, felt like a person that actually gave a fuck. He was somebody that is very intelligent, somebody that took game fucking seriously. Uh, somebody that honestly tried, that, that worked to, to find an avenue for anybody to improve in this shit, who was extremely fucking passionate. His passion honestly led to a huge movement in the pickup artist community, led to an online YouTube movement. The whole reason that there's a bunch of pickup artists online is for this individual right here. Uh, I love him to death. I'm excited to watch this. I have not seen his infield yet. Uh, do you have anything to say? Yeah. Um, Owen Cook. Oh, I'm, 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 I forgot what it's I'll cut it I up. keep getting this. I'll cut it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah I trust it. Blasted with text from hot chicks. It's so annoying. Throw it away. So saw girls just keep messaging me, distracting Sluts. me. Sluts. Uh, damn. Sluts. Um, okay. Owen Cook used to be one of the, if not the most influential and had the largest audience, his old uh, brand, mm -hmm. of any dating coach, we'll call it, because we know their, uh, their, their brand is careful with the language they use, right? Yeah. So he was the most popular dating coach, and him and some of his other coaches, like Julian, uh, those, watching those videos was what took me from believing the whole dating, the whole game thing was not legit to really believing in it. In it. Yeah. So I used to watch like David D'Angelo, I read Neil Strauss, I, I watched all the courses, all the videos that were available before uh, Owen RSD, or well, I don't know if they want to say RSD, but before Tyler Durden I slash know. Owen Cook, before know. Tyler Durden slash Owen Cook were part of it, um, before I had watched them, I didn't really believe in it and I wasn't getting any results. And then I saw Julian, I saw some of his speeches and I just immediately thought, this guy gets laid. Absolutely. Like I watched the way he talked and I just knew on an instinctual level, this guy gets laid, this is different, right? This is more legit than the other stuff. And, and when I started watching it, I started actually getting success. I started getting results and I started believing in the whole game thing, right? Mm -hmm. And then I ended up joining that online communities and I met wingmen and became a part of it. I went to their events, their hot seats, and I got a lot of genuine value from it. Whereas before I felt like I was getting grifted. I felt like it was fake. I felt like yeah. it was all online sales. And so it's really cool because their company has shifted towards self-improvement for the last, I don't know, four years or so. They have not been talking about dating. However, shockingly, Owen Cook recently put out a video of him approaching women, of him actually going out, picking up girls, and has posted it online. Um, I don't know why he's had this change of heart and why they're putting this OG kind of content out again, but this is a really cool opportunity to react to that infield and to see how legit the guys who, in a lot of ways, they paved the way for everyone else who came after. They're the ones who, who made the industry what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see how legit that Tyler Durden, AKA Owen Cook, is because he's there's no infield of him available publicly and there hasn't been for years until this video welcome to the first ever nashville tennessee boot camp taking place in august payment plans are available are you gonna get behind us no yeah you are so. okay how you gonna stunt like you ain't been trying how you gonna stunt okay, so that's like crazy he's showing himself Making out with girls, that's uh, a pretty big shift from their recent content. Oh, where absolutely. They weren't showing well, any infield, let alone making out with uh, with girls like this. This is uh, very, very surprising, to say the least. Well, they yeah, put this on YouTube. I like the music choice, too. Wait, wait, actually, I gotta play one thing, say one thing else before we like play this. Look at an old, bald guy making out with young, hot girls. Oh, no. Oh, shit, is it possible? He must he's be also not them. tall. I think he's 5'7". Um, balding. No one, no offense if he watches this, no one would say he's like a no, male model, no, no. right? He's not the ugliest guy in the world, but no one would say, oh, looks are his advantage. Like, oh, it's because of his looks. Now, what is a black pillar going to think? They're going to think, well, 
either it's staged, uh -huh. this is all fake, the hundreds and hundreds of hours they've gotten, it's all fake, they hired hundreds of actors to make up all of this, the amount of effort that would go into that, it's pretty impressive, the dedication he would have to have. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and they never got caught once for a single, no, none of the actresses ever came out and said this is a fraud, none of that ever happened, which tends to when things are. Mm -hmm. So, it's all fake, or, oh, it's because he's rich, you know, it's because he has That's a YouTube money. channel with, with, you know, however many, 200,000 subscribers how or whatever. Many, how many rich clients have you had come to you who sucked with girls? A uh, lot. Oh my god, dude, I think more rich clients that come to me are god awful with girls than not. Not always, I mean, sometimes there's some just killer motherfuckers who are just socially intelligent and really well off guys. But most of the time, to be fair, they, they felt like by making all the fucking money, the girls would come to them, and then once they got there, they realized it wasn't the case. Um, yeah. got the bean, yeah, the <laughs> oh, this is the Turn a hotel room to a wonder world. Only come down when the Uber downstairs. Shooting at the club now, everybody's scared. If you get money, then you throw it in the air. If you get money, then you throw it in the air. Damn, girl, shit, bad thing right there. You get it from your mama, shout it, shake some. All right, well, that was quite the intro. <laughs> the first thing I want to do is I want to just get chatty. It's like. What? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice this, is my, this is my buddy Frank. Hi Frank. It's so sweet. You got like the billion dollar fucking smile. You make me feel like I'm like psychologically tainted and like sadness or some shit. You're like, Hi. like that. It's great. But see, you haven't been hurt by a man yet. He could hurt you. You could fall in love with him. He could cheat on you, and then we'll, we'll kill that innocent spirit. There's, there's already a shit ton going on. Um, First of all, he was saying, so first I just want to get chatty when I go out. I just want to be social, outgoing. And what he's talking about is getting into state or getting out of your head, mm -hmm. building momentum. And this is something most people are too arrogant to do. Um, they're like, all right, I'm only going to approach the super hot girls I see. I'm going to be like a, like a vulture looking for, for my next prey or whatever. That's yeah. the energy they tend to have. What he's saying is to do the opposite, to have fun with everyone, to get out of a defensive self-protection mode where you're where you're thinking okay i need to find the perfect thing what if i get rejected what if you have all these negative thoughts running through your mind telling you why not to do things it's like having the brakes on and he's showing you a way to get your foot off the brakes and onto the gas and what happens is as you make the shift as you talk to some girls maybe you're not even attracted to them. maybe you talk to a couple maybe you talk to guys you just talk to people in general socialize get out of your head get out of the judging paradigm where you're like really looking for the perfect thing to do and yeah. just start taking action just start being social what happens is you start your mind and there's actually neuroscience that shows the parts of your brain the parts of your brain that are self-judging that think you're not good enough that are looking for all the bad things that are going to happen the amygdala for example they shut off and other areas of your brain associated with creativity with being more charismatic with presence with uh higher status with dopamine serotonin all those areas light up and become hyperactive so that's what happens when you start going out talking to everyone and getting out of your ego and then when you do see that really hot girl instead of thinking oh no this is my big opportunity it's like the eminem song you know uh, mom spaghetti i don't <laughs> remember the lyrics exactly but it, the one everyone knows knee's weak, arms yeah knee weeks arms yeah. are heavy uh that song that's what it feels like. But if you just talk to everyone, socialize, own the venue, it's your fucking venue. This is yeah. my venue, right? You're on top of it before. Yeah. It's, like, it's like riding a wave, like you're a surfer, you start paddling, 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 and either the wave crashes on top of you or you, you paddle hard enough and you're on top of the fucking wave riding it. Uh, it's action feeds ego, ego feeds action. Uh, it's your personality is taken by the action. So if you take an action that is extroverted, you are gonna start becoming extroverted. If you are taking actions that are introverted, you, you make the, the mental decision not to approach somebody, for example, you think about approaching somebody and you tell yourself no, what's gonna happen? You're gonna become introverted. You approach guys, girls, couples, big groups, it doesn't matter. You get you reverse momentum. You get reverse momentum, it's a thing. And it's fucking, it's that wave will excuse crash. Excuse making off. momentum, or you, excuse taking momentum, I think is the term. It's actually, it's an Owen Cook term. Uh, he's the one that originally started fucking pushing uh, momentum. Momentum, I'll say this, is a fucking killer. Momentum comes with a headspace of I take an action means I must be this person. Your ego has to stay consistent with past action, but the, the ego also feeds the action. It's a huge thing. If you guys don't learn how to use this or how to like manipulate yourself, you're gonna be trash at game forever. All right. And do you have anything to say about the verbals that he's saying? 
He's very expressive. The one thing I, I will he's he's uh, doing great. He's warming up right now. Um, he's very actually, he almost is like more supplicating than it would be naturally, but it's it's coming from a place of like, of like him warming up, which I like. I don't he's think he's really very trying relaxed. to pick her up necessarily. And also, I don't think so what, what I would say is the conversation he's having, he's it's very warm. emotional, right? He's making, he's spiking emotions. Everything he's saying is yeah. making her feel something. Uh, and it's also very unique, right? There's like, that's a memory for her. She's going to remember that. Five other guys are going to say, hey, where are you from? What do you do? And this guy comes up and says like, wow, you seem so genuinely happy. Like a man has never hurt you before. He's never broken your heart. Oh, my friend here, he <laughs> will break your heart. He'll Dude. be the first to do it. And, and, and uh, you know, you make me feel like I've just been damaged. And it, like, it's such a unique conversation that you could call it supplicating, but she's going to remember it. It's going to have an impact, right? He's standing out from the crowd and a big Absolutely. part of game is standing out from other guys. Because if you just say the same generic five lines, every other guy said, she's going to judge you on very logical parameters, right? She, is he my physical type? Exactly. Then maybe it'll work, but otherwise it's not. If you stand out and she remembers you, you're going to have a lot more leverage with her. I have been hurt, have you? I'm so high. Dude, that's dope. Yeah, you know, the power, the most powerful woman, uh, skill a woman can possess to maintain her radiance, I believe, I truly believe this, is the ability to forget. Just let shit go. Nice to meet you guys. Nice hey. to meet you. Where do you guys come from? We're from Spain. Espana. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Nice to meet you. I love you both, by the way. Love you too. <laughs> How's I your like beard? Your beard You know her? No. This is my buddy Frank. This is like the happiest girl on the fucking planet. So what's he been doing here? Because this is something that pre selection, that but doesn't get uh, technique wise. This is something that that does not get talked about very often. Uh, merging sets. Yeah, merging. So this is something I've had friends who are great at this, and this is something that is definitely a useful um, technique. This is how I met my last girlfriend. Actually, um, is basically you're talking to some girls, and then he put the first girl to talk with his friend and then he brings more girls into the group and now he's the center of the party. Now it's almost like within the club, their group, he's the host of that little party, yeah. right? He's the center of attention and now he has other girls who are kind of like, oh, is, is she into him? Am I, is she my competition? So you have girls competing over you by bringing, merging different groups of girls together. Yeah, well, see, you know what? This girl over here, too, is very attractive. So it also helps pops, pumps him up a little bit, too. So his friends look fucking fire. Frank looks fucking good. Frank's also socially intelligent. You watch Frank, the way he's moving and speaking. Frank's a socially intelligent guy. Makes makes Tyler look like a pimp. Not to mention, this girl right here is great in energy. To be fair, this girl right here is very uh, friend material. Like, she's, she's fucking smoking hot, and she's socially intelligent and cool. And he wasn't just saying that, either. She's very light energy. Um, there's, it's hard to find a girl that's this hot, who's this kind of light energy. Like I would, I would. She probably doesn't drink and do drugs. I would fuck and, and friends on the fuck out of this girl. I'd, I'd want her to be my social circle. She's cool as fuck. She's a dope. She's a dope bitch. Um, he's like, he found a fucking cool ass girl. Like honestly, I'd be using this girl as a, what's the word for it? A pivot, a pivot. Like for the rest of the night, where you like you keep coming back to the same girl over and over as user to help right, you right. feel pretty selection because she's fucking cool as all hell. Like she's a cool girl. They're literally stuck on it. Oh, is that, uh, his Kino body. Kino body. I've uh, I got his. Uh, Look at his smirk. He's, he's one of a, his courses cool. recently. We'll see if it works. Maybe I'll have a before after for him. Uh, he's a f popular YouTube personal trainer. So, so very interesting uh, coaching <coughs> clients he's got here. And it's crippling. Well, he's playing his and friends. It's debilitating. Another thing a lot of guys don't get is like, okay, see how that's a couple right there? They think like, oh, I can't even like go talk to them. Like, it's like, oh, that's off limits. But they forget you're fucking socializing, right? Like, you can be like, how's your guys' night going? They're going to be cool. What's funny, too, is sometimes a girl jumps off the guy, right? Now, most of the time they won't, but you never want to feel like anything in the club is off limits. But let's see this couple right here, right? Like, am I allowed to go talk to them? Sure. How's your guys' night going? Good, so far. Cheers. How do you guys know each other? Oh, yeah? Yeah. You guys are cute together. Oh, you're not dating? See, that's like, that's exactly what I was thinking he was going to do. So I do the same thing. So whenever I'm approaching a girl, I'll, I'll say the same exact line. I'll be like, you guys make a cute couple is what I usually say. If I say it to the girl, because the guy's going to be like, yeah, we do. Because he might have a crush on her and he's going to try to like, be, like try to like box me out. Because he might have, if he does have a crush on her, he doesn't want me talking to his girl. But if I say it to the girl, guess what? The girl's going to give a look or she's going to say something. And then you fall this. Now you know that she's open game. 
Well, I also think that's a good way to say it. So instead of saying, are you together? He's saying, you make a cute couple, which is less presumptuous and it's not like trying to take in a way, uh, right? It doesn't have that I like, like right. the inherent, there's a little bit, it could be seen as needy a little like, oh, are you together? Instead, he's saying, you make a cute couple, which then he sensed the hesitation. I don't think she said, I think no, she no, said, no, no, you're like, right. uh, you're you right. sense the hesitation. Fair. If they hesitate, then you know, oh, so you're not together. And now you found that information out without having to do anything that could come across as like a little bit pushy. To be so fair, that's, that's cool. That, that's, that's more what I say, but I, I absolutely fucking agree. Then second, he said, how do you guys know each other? Uh, that's something you should always ask with groups. Whenever there's a group, oh, it's absolutely. a way to include well, the rest logistics. of the group and it's a way to figure out the situation. If they are a couple, you know, okay, well, probably not going to happen, mm -hmm. but you're getting that information and it lets you include the group and get the conversation with the group because one of the most common things guys do is ignore the group, completely mm -hmm. neglect them, uh, and then what happens is the, like, let's say less attractive friend or the male friend fucking hates you, and then he's going to make your life more difficult. So by including them a little and getting the logistics, it's a, a line you should say to every group. Well, a lot much. of guys that start off when they're beginners or intermediates, I, I always have to coach them up on this. You you want to you want to look at the group as if they're already your best friend. So when you walk up to a group like this, all right, so girls usually fuck guys in their social circle. So get this. What if you approach a group of people and then you become a part of her social circle? They like you so much, they push her even to go fuck you. I've had times where like I'm, I get a part of social circle and even mom is going like, yes, go home with him, go home with him. He's really cool. Uh, in the same way, like if you're like trying to like look, if you look at the friends as almost obstacles or enemies or people to be defeated, you're 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 gonna lose because the girl's gonna choose her friends over you any day of the week. It's it's you're you're fighting an uphill battle. Like assume they're your friends, treat them nice unless they treat you piss poorly. In that case, ice them. But otherwise, like assume that they're your best friends. Assume like that they're on your team. Right. I assume that like they're working with you. There's been a lot of times where I approach, say, two girls, and I don't have anyone with me to win or whatever. I win over the friend. I help the other friend. Like I help her pick up guys. I help be her wingman. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm like finding out what's her type, and like I'll approach guys for her and bring them over. And yeah. even if she doesn't meet someone that she ends up clicking with, I've added so much value to the friend that she literally makes me go home with a friend or helps me go home with a friend because I've won her over. Now I've offered her value. I've offered the group value. So it's very important to be aware of group dynamics in nightclubs and bars and situations like that because a lot of the times it's the friends. The girl might want to sleep with you, but the friends will not allow it. That's oh. happened to me even recently. That will happen where the friends, they're like, no, you can't go home with him, Susie, because you don't like him because secretly I'm jealous and I don't want you to get laid and I'm a troll. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I get a oh, little... I want to reiterate too, uh, we're at about 21 minutes. Let's go! I mean, like, let's make it two hours. If you're okay with it, dude, like, I mean, we're only a third of the video. We'll I mean, we're going to cut, you know, probably I'll cut, I'll make a shorter version and you can have a longer version. We see which one does better. Uh, well, I mean, I'm going to be cutting it up, then you're going to be... No, I'll cut it up and you make the full version. That's what we already agreed to. Yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I gotta edit all this up. You're gonna take them from my version. Yeah, but you make it as is most of it, you know. And then we'll see. It'll give us a good uh, A/B test to see which performs better: something tighter or something that's, you know, more like a Tyler video. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, here let's let's roll into it. Let's keep going. I don't like uh, that. Okay. Yeah, you make very cute facial well. expressions. Yeah, Another cool. classic uh, <laughs> mystery, I think. Right? Yeah. What do you say? Uh, you make very cute facial expressions. Oh. Yeah. Usually, do you have a bad girl face, but uh, innocent facial expressions. Okay, cool. Like Thanks. Yeah. Good to meet you. So, that has to be paused for a second, because that was a couple, or it seemed like a couple. Yeah. Most guys won't approach that. And keep in mind, that's kind of the advantage. Because most guys won't approach a girl who's with a guy, which means she, it's kind of like when a girl goes to a, a gay bar. A girl to gay bar is way easier to approach because she's validation starved. No one's approaching her. She kind of is like, well, I like not getting hit on all night, but now I'm not getting hit at all. So can someone please hit on me? He's always and playing the Sentinel. Like, this guy's not going to get laid. The guy's with her. He's hoping and crossing his fingers, but now he's outcome dependent because this is the only girl he's going to talk to all night, which I know that is. I've taken girls out before, and I feel like kind of almost, uh, back in the day, I feel like almost like they're, um, like I, I'm responsible for them instead sure. of like being like the guy that I should be, which is out approaching girls while I'm with her because I'm not dating the girl. He's not dating the girl. He should be off approaching, but he's not going to because that's most guys. He feels responsible for her. So now, guess what? Now he's sitting on this girl playing Sentinel. Now he's the only guy that's willing to approach her. Now she's the only. Now he's the only guy that um, that is going to approach her all night. So it's a one for one. Yeah. Like out of all these fucking like guys in a bar who might be even like these super cool popular guys, even maybe cooler than Tyler, 
Tao's the only guy that had the fucking balls to go say hi to her. And so that number is much more likely to lead to something because there's literally no competition whatsoever. So sometimes, I had a client once who, uh, there was a girl and a guy next to each other, and he's like, no, I can't approach their couple. I said, so what, you're doing it, bitch. (laughs) (laughs) And so he goes up, and it turns out that the guy was her gay friend. And so then uh, he invited them to an after party after a 30 second, one minute interaction. Then they came back and he ended up banging the girl and I had to talk to the gay friend and, uh, (laughs) you know, be a wingman for him, play beer pong and pretend like, oh, maybe I'm interested until he banged her. But, uh, But that was the kind of approach no one else would do and it creates opportunities. So be aware that just because a girl's with a guy, if they're obviously a couple, they're holding hands, shit like that, I mean then it's probably not going to happen. But a lot of the times, they're not actually together. And those opportunities are actually much easier than you would think. Okay. So if you look there, like, you Frank know, they like look like a couple, couple but just got a phone number out of it, and the guy's cool with it, right? So guys have so many fucking blogs on what's possible and what's not. Like, it's madness. Even if we're just going to walk out here, sometimes girls can be on the move and, like, impossible to open, right? And then guys take it personally. So, like, say that this girl's, she's about to leave, right? Like, she's about to go in there, but guys aren't strategic about when to open. And then, and then again, it's, like, that assault on their self-image, right? So if that girl's, like, you know, say she's about to, like, so we, then... Hey, nice to meet you. Right? So see how she's got to go, right? It's like, that chick's got to fucking go. But then guys will be like, oh, I'm a fucking bad person. Like, that chick wants to She's just got to go. She's just got to go. Yeah. So people read into so much stuff. Because they did protect her onto themselves. Yeah. All their insecurities. Nothing to do with them. Girls just got to go. Hi. The backwards walk. I love the backwards walk. My friend Frank. Just assume people will be nice. Go be with your friends. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. The skill that I see from you, but that's just my opinion. I mean, I can't speak for you, but just how I see it is like how I experience you is like that childlike innocence of just assuming that people will like you. And even if they don't, you're not reading into it and making yourself vulnerable. So this is like a huge thing what we're always hammering on is make yourself vulnerable. Put yourself out there. And the biggest skill is like, hi, pleasure. Good to meet you. That's it. Okay. I was There's also say. something cool he's doing there. I mean, he's always just ready to go because he's mm-hmm. in the middle of a conversation. And it's there's it's actually, when you're going out, you shouldn't 100% of the time being like hunting for the next girl to approach. You should be having fun with your friends. You should be able to just <laughs> chill and vibe some of the time, right? That's fine. Um, you should still take action. Don't use that as a massive excuse. But being aware at all times when there's an opportunity, being ready to, to get it, uh, that's a very useful skill to have because he had no, he saw a girl, he's like, oh, that's a good one to approach. And cuts off the conversation and does it with zero hesitation. Well, we, we do that all the time. Like, so you should be, like, have a great, like, a game with your friends where you, you should We've have done that with girls where we're talking yeah. to, we have a clip, I don't know if we have the infield, but, like, where we're talking to girls that, let's say, we're not super interested in and then hotter ones are, <laughs> are walking by and we'll yeah. just, like, switch. Uh, well, you gotta be ready for that. We do that, too. Well, all right, so here's the thing you want to notice about this. Slow language movements. How does a deer move versus a lion Lion strolls, it moves slowly. So when he's even hugging the girl, it's like very slow and languid. It's practice. Like he knows what he's doing. Slow languid movements indicate calmness, alpha energy, status, value, which is attraction. Like that's all I have to say about that. That's, so you, you, you do a great job at choosing the metaphors that are going to get us into trouble with predatory that. movements. Yeah, predatory movements. That's what you want to do. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> anything else? Also, women are like cars, right? The Andrew Tate clip. You want to say anything else? Is going to get canceled? How women are like horses. Tyler, I'm sorry, uh, dude. I, I tried my best here, man. We're getting canceled. This uh, channel is going downhill real fast. This is my buddy Frank. This is kind of a cool dress you got going on here. She's really sexy. Awesome. You don't realize. She's very attractive. Yeah, and then your heels are pretty comfortable too. Do you work out? You look like you do squats. <laughs> One thing that's standing out, piercing eye contact. When he's looking at her, he's like staring at her in a very, like his eye contact has energy behind it. Well, look at the right? guy to his left, who is like very tense facially, and then look at him. The big thing about... Tyler's face is like, it was actually something I talk a lot about in my channel, is relaxed facial expressions. A lot of guys, when you can see in somebody's face how the reality is, and somebody's very tense in the face, it's it's almost like, it's like they're, they're all the knotted up 
like anxious energy that they're living throughout their entire life you can see mm. like plastered right there you can see the fact that they're fucking failing at life yeah so his eye contact's very intense but it's not relaxed stressed it's, it's not relaxed forced eye contact. he's comfortable with it and that has this there's this penetrative energy that comes from doing that and then also pick up a lot of pickup is in facial expressions mm -hmm. you can do so much a lot of times you don't even have to respond when a girl says something you just give a look like a quizzical look and that'll make her like what what what's going on she starts mm -hmm. qualifying herself right you can do so much just with facial expressions and one of the biggest oh. sticking points guys have is they have wooden dead faces with no emotions on them and then the, they're unengaging to girls mm -hmm. obviously uh tyler doesn't have that problem well here i'll, I'll say one last thing right before we like I, I call it almost like an accordion game so it's something that i've actually started realizing i do now it's like i get expansive where i want to talk to people around me but then i get relaxed and i, and I contract and I, and I and i relax into the environment uh, oftentimes, like sometimes people like approach too much and they get themselves overly anxious in the act of approaching. Mm -hmm. Like I'll hang out with my friend, I'll joke with you, I'll tease, I'll just hang out, or I'll enjoy the music, I'll relax, I'll drink some water, I'll just chill. Uh, maybe I'll smoke a cigar. Uh, yeah, I just dance, like even walking around the club. <laughs> yeah, and just I get into it. Right, I'm able to have fun doing that, and it gets me out of the concern of being judged. Well, and also, motion creates emotion because I'm doing more. I'm loosening up. Right, well, I'm loosening yeah, up. Here. That's that's another way to do that. Here, I'll, I'll put it this way. We can do that, but the problem is that most of you guys, when I tell you guys about this fucking technique, you guys are going to use this as an excuse not to approach. And I, that's, that's it's not thing. an either or thing. Yeah, it, it's it's not either or. You have to do both. And if you're if you start contracting and you start relaxing into the environment, then use that as an excuse not to approach. You're doing the strategy wrong. It's it's more of an advanced kind of style for me to get in, my, in the pocket. It's like you relax into it. Relaxation is the key to getting in state. And if you're somebody that has, still has a hard time approaching, it's not going to work for you. All right. Dude, that's pretty fucking good. The biggest <laughs> kind of lesson that I've seen fleshed out in our interactions here is, like I said, make yourself vulnerable. And guys put on this shtick, we gotta right? Get into it, because this, uh, it feels painful to get rejected for your real personality. That's so guys fine. go in there like, I mean, I have hey, a good camera what's up? It. And then it doesn't hurt when they get rejected. But ironically, they never even put themselves out there. Yeah, they I've never heard. were no, rejected. It's, it's like some fake persona that people could sense was a persona, and they rejected it by default. So you know that whole idea of like, when you believe it, it'll happen? It's like a self fulfilling prophecy, right? Admit, we... Nice to meet you. See how relaxed his eyes are? I had to say hi. His eye... His eyes are really relaxed. Is it the hair? I'm gonna do this in my beard. I want you to teach me. This is Frank, by the way. Hi, Frank. Nice to meet you. I like your hair. Yeah, like, uh, it's kind of similar, but yours is like, like my one hair is like your one thousand. By the way, uh, you can always reopen the sets from earlier, right? So it's like the sets over there, like interactions from earlier. You can just bring them oh, over. Yeah, Here, keep on this. Keep on this. Keep on this. Then we merge it. <laughs> Two seconds. I miss you very much. Do you remember Frank? I just, I love hey, your hair. The hat is going on. How did you two meet? We know each other. I, I... Reopening is another thing that you think if you didn't pull the girl the first time you saw her, uh, it's over, it's done. Yeah. Um, there was one time I reapproached a girl three times and then pulled her and things happened. Um, there was a time within the last two weeks where I approached a girl, uh, her friends took her away or something. And then I reapproached her and pulled her. Like, just because cause you already approached a girl. I mean, obviously, if she's like, fuck off, I have a boyfriend, never talk to me again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even then, you never know. Like, her mood could be totally different, yeah. to be fair. Yeah. But generally, uh, if you had an approach that fe felt neutral or it, it didn't go anywhere, but she didn't, like, harshly say no, uh, there's a good chance reapproaching can actually work out. Part of it, there's already a little bit of familiarity. There's already a little bit of comfort built. And most guys, they just, it's like the girl. It's like a, an NPC, like when they leave the, the frame, they're gone forever, and that NPC no longer exists, like they fade into non-existence. That's how they treat a girl that they already approached, like she disappears from the matrix. Well, guys are afraid of like, so guys sometimes will also get the validation, they'll be afraid of losing the validation they gain from approaching, so then they backwards rationalize not re-approaching. Yeah. Or they assume like, it's it's a dumb thing. For, it, how would a cool, all right, so how would a cool guy act if he wasn't gaming? So like, you guys are like trying to become pickup guys, Become a cool guy. Don't don't try to become a pickup guy. Become a cool guy. Become like the 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 thing that you guys are, should ultimately do is try to become the the top of the line baddest motherfucker on planet Earth who is a cool individual. What's a popular guy like? Who's the coolest guy in your old school? Who's the coolest guy in modern society? Become that guy, not a pickup guy. Everybody wants to be a weirdo pickup guy. If the, but also approach. The the but also approach the the coolest the coolest the best pickup artist. Are cool motherfuckers, not weird. And should I check on the camera? 
Make sure it's still uh, going. I mean, if it's not going, we're just going to use this, so it doesn't really matter. Well, let me just check. Because I want to look at it. It's not working. So I'm staring at it. Oh, it's still going. Okay, good. Yeah, it goes. It has no limit or anything. Okay, good. I just want to check. I don't, I don't know if, like, how much chart, like, battery, like, memory we have on it. It's, like, 500 gigabytes. Oh, my God. Can actually merge it, right? You can bring them together. We can even bring other interactions from tonight together. Then you become the social epicenter, and then now you're the popular guy. So you're stacking in your favor. Yeah. So it's like some people need to be like a celebrity to meet a girl, but we, you can become a celebrity within the venue. But it's funny because when you see us doing this, it looks um, so easy to see us doing it, and yet. It's like when you're not in the mode where it would be easy, it's like a million miles away. Like guys will walk in, I know because I did this for like years. You walk in and you just wander on this whole venue and everybody shuts you down. Everybody. It's because like you carry that negativity and that becomes your reality. There's even entire groups of guys that feed off that negativity so intensely. Like literally it consumes them to the point where they're so in a dark spot. And then it's just rejection, 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 rejection. And then they make these crazy yeah, they philosophies. Their own they're they're they, creating, they're they're creating their own reality. They're completely creating their own fucking reality. When comes into their reality, he's all fucking negative. Yeah, and so a guy could do that. He could approach like 100 mm-hmm. girls, 200 girls. That's so But funny. every time afterwards, he's like, oh, she rejected me because I'm short. She rejected me because of my race. She rejected me because whatever external thing. Yeah. And you don't know why. Honestly, oh, you don't know for sure. No, there could no, be a million no. reasons. It could be because she's a lesbian. She could have STDs. She could, it could be any number of reasons, right? Maybe her cat just died. You don't know why. But you carry the emotion with you, and then it's a downward spiral versus an upward spiral. And so what you have to realize, if you have been going out and you're in these downward spirals and you felt negative the whole mm-hmm. time, you do not know what would happen if you were actually in a good state, if you were actually having fun, if you were social and outgoing until you've gotten yourself into that state and approach girls while you are having fun. Oh, yeah. Then if you approach 100 girls while having fun, while you're genuinely in a good mood and they still all say fuck off, well then, you know, then you've got some issues, but that <laughs> will never happen. There's not been a single black pill incel whatever where that's happened because they have only approached girls while in a terrible self-defeating parasitic little bitch mindset and then that's what they turn into and they create that reality and then they jack off to the fact that they've created this reality because it makes them feel like a victim who's free from the responsibility to get a life worth living Fuck. <laughs> and so that's like our beliefs here is the world is a friendly place we're here to just talk with people it's cool girls are attracted to us we just have that belief going in there's an innocence and the major key is if a girl shuts us down Another not carrying one. that negative energy into the next one <laughs> yeah, the two girls are the cool guys back there let's see what i can do i just had to tell you you have the mane of a fine stallion oh my god thank very you. unique opener. he's doing he's doing so much of the work for yang though <laughs> yang is like frank frank yang yeah i think that's his name yeah right? frank yang he's doing so much of the work for frank yang he's been throwing frank on all these fucking sets but i, I admire it what is the fucking it seems like he's he's really putting a lot of effort coaching, and I'm curious to see, um, you know, if if they show any results of him because he's looked pretty shy. Like Frank, he's a Frank's cool guy, but Frank's in terms of his cool. approaches, he's looked a little like he doesn't really want to put himself fully out there um, and take the lead with girls yet. So we'll see how that progresses. Well, the good thing is Frank at least has a very authentic energy and non. He, he's not a leech. And neither, yeah, he, yeah, does, he seems leeches. very vulnerable, like in a good way, right? Very yeah, authentic. Yeah, no, he's not. He's not the childlike energy, energy. That, that Owen was talking about. Exactly. And I think that's probably, probably why he's popular on YouTube. He's got a very unique, authentic energy. He, well, he's not. People pick up on authenticity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, guess what? It's all What's real. that? It's all Great real. job. Great awesome. job. Wait, meet my friend Frank. Two seconds. Yes. Two seconds. Okay. Bam. Frank. Frank. This is my homie. <laughs> Right. So again, the cool girls with the cool guys and shit. You can meet them. Yeah. Are you just trying to take us home? We're shy. Very shy. It's a good line. I'm not a sausage to see. I still. I that's one I actually use. Um, that's uh, for the most part. I don't use many canned lines that I've heard, um, but well, there are a, a few I use, and that's one like, oh, "Are you trying to take me home? I'm too shy," because it's putting the idea of going home together on the table it's putting it in the within the interaction right it's in the it's an idea now that's like in their mind but you're framing it as they're the one doing it right they're the seducer and you're the like oh i can't like so and it's kind of funny it's kind of cheeky but it's a way of putting that on the table without being aggressive or pushy about it and making it kind of funny mm-hmm. which is generally like the best way to sexualize is if you can either make a joke that is sexual um or you can accuse them of sexualizing on you oh absolutely. a misinterpretation is another way to do this right you misinterpret what they said as like oh i, lo- I love you when they're like said something that 
sounded similar, right? Oh, you love me? Oh, that's cool. I mean, we just met. But when you misinterpret something as a sexual thing, it lets you blame them for doing it, and it lets you make it carefree and fun as opposed to like, by the way, it's time to get sexual. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right? You don't want to have that that vibe, and that's how a lot of guys do it. It's like, serious mode, now it's time to make my sexual intentions clear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Claws are coming out. <laughs> look at the look at Shark. She's like... You look like you're in like American Idol. You just won. You should probably do some edits like this. Uh, that looks like uh, Frank is having some uh, success there. Maybe it's too hot, I don't know. All the infield is fake. I just did fake game. Frank's getting it. He's getting it. And, I mean, at the beginning, he looked he looked hesitant when it came to Well, he's warming up. He's warming up. Uh, maybe. I, I mean, I don't know. When you did coaching, where there were people who had never gotten a makeout or never gotten a pull or yeah. success, and then they do on the first or second night, uh, the amount of progress is possible in a very amount of a very short amount of time, people underestimate what is possible. Absolutely. Especially when you have a good coach. Mm -hmm. Is that the end of it? A big portion of what he does. He is just having fun. He's relaxing. He's a big proponent of getting into the state. And to be fair, Tyler comes from a big deficit. He's somebody that comes from a place of a lot of pain. Um, he is somebody that comes from a place like if you if you don't think you get a good game. I mean, he says he believes that he has autism. Asperger's or light autism, yeah. um, mild autism because I think one of his kids has it. So mm -hmm. most likely that's it's a genetic thing. And when you if you watch his videos from like two thousand eight or like two thousand five, like his earliest stuff, you can see that social skills did not come naturally to this guy. No. Secondly, he doesn't have any. Of, he's not tall. He's below average height. Uh, he's balding. He's, some people think gingers have no shot. He's ginger. <laughs> he doesn't have a chiseled jawline or any of those uh, things, right? He doesn't have any like super uh, sculpted features or physical advantages. Um, and yet he has, I've seen plenty of footage that proves he's gotten far more results than most of the people who are saying, oh, well, yeah, I'm as good looking as him, but it man, wouldn't work. All man. those crybabies, uh, just take action. Shut up. Like, shut the fuck up. You're such a bitch. Well, you deserve to be a loser if that's how you're going to think. That really gets you off. Cool. Let that get you off, but it's fucking sad. These guys are looking for excuses to, like, so it's almost like crabs in a bucket. They're trying to drag everybody else down with them. They're like, I'm not going to do pickup because pickup doesn't, it can't not possibly fucking work. And they think that, like, they're, so, it, it's almost an ego thing. Because I can remember this when I was younger. It's a I lot of ego things. I don't think pickup could ever possibly work. So then for when I was in that headspace, I was like, well, I'm going to take any win I can get. So I'm going to drag these people down because it makes me feel like I'm confident. I'm smarter than everybody else. Because I can see the fact that these guys are grifting me or, or fucking me over. So I must be really fucking and smart. That, well, that's a bias is that we think we know shit. Um, one is the Dunning-Kruger effect. The less experience you have in a subject, the more confident you tend to be in your exactly. beliefs. So politics. No one knows shit about politics for the most part. I don't know shit about politics. No. Yet most people are like... They're like, I know that this is correct and this yeah. one's right. Shut up. You don't know shit. Like, being able to admit your own ignorance is a skill that clearly Owen had because he was able to take massive action despite all the societal norms being against him. Uh, something that I certainly had, something that you had. I believe the game just couldn't work for me. Not because I was too ugly, but I believe because I inherently was basically like a bitch. Like I just wasn't man enough and that women just didn't find my person. My personality was not attractive to women. That's what I believe because that's what girls in high school had told me and... But I was willing to go against that and disprove that. I was open-minded to finding new avenues. You've got to admit, you've never tried pick up the way this guy has, the way people have succeeded has. Like, you're like, I'm a black pill. I did three approaches. It didn't work. Oh, my God. You're fucking pathetic. Dude, I, so I yeah. admire anyone who is showing themselves taking massive action, pushing people to take massive action, and showing 
that success is possible, showing what can happen. And a lot of people aren't going to believe it. They're not ready to believe it. They don't want to believe it. Well, they're I'm too they lost in their victimhood and their like self-righteous, uh, masturbatory sense of superiority that, oh, it's not my fault. I, I know the secret that it's not possible. You're all getting grifted. Good for you. Keep doing it. Like Keep fucking doing it. Uh, that's cool. But Owen clearly... His game is legit. He goes very hard. There's no hesitation. He does a lot of things technically well, but also he's able to just have fun, have an energy that girls uh, react to, right? He's got a grounded energy that they react to and sucks them in, and he clearly has no hesitation leading. It looks like he's more focused on coaching, so he's bringing the girls to Frank, but I know when I've seen other clips where he's not coaching, where he knows how to make things happen on his own. So as far as I can say... I've never taken a boot camp with Owen myself. I've never taken his coaching or anything like that. I can't really say too much about his coaching, but what he did in this video is really good, and his uh, actual footage is great. I think it's super cool that he's posting infield. Um, I thought that would never happen again, quite frankly, um, but it's cool that it has. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see more. I doubt that'll happen, but this is a nice opportunity to see the, the like OG good old days. Um, back when they, they had this kind of the more gangster material. Um, any thoughts on on that? Uh, yeah. All right. So it's a good thing. So no matter what we do on this channel, not everybody's going to ever figure this out. And, uh, luckily, thank God, not everybody's like, so we're going to have a bunch of people watch this fucking dumb video and who are going to say like, there's they're going to come up with 100 excuses. Um, but the more excuses you see underneath this video, the more people are like fucking, like, it's more of an indicator that like not everybody can fucking win at this shit. And thank God they can't, because I'll put it this way, it's it's a competitive fucking game getting it with girls. The fact that most society doesn't know that this is the case, that you can do this, this is such a fucking win. This is like, dude, this is like, it's it's the closest thing to a magic pill you can possibly have. It's the closest fucking thing you have to fucking figure out your success with women. If you want to get good with them, you have clear proof that you can do this shit. We have so much infield. I have 40 plus infield uh, clips on my channel. You have a fuck ton yourself, Avery Hayden. Um, yeah, we, my channel, A.G. Hayden. Um, we still post infield. I know that, you know, there's concerns about, like, what's allowed on YouTube, and a lot of people don't post infield. I think one day it may be you just can't post infield at all, but I don't think it's reached that point yet. I think, get rid of us. I think it's still okay to post infield for now. Um, there's just certain things you can't post, right? There's certain, there's a line you can't show certain things that other people have shown, like, you know, things happening in someone's private home. Right with uh, an individual, right? You couldn't show those kinds of things. I think it's still fine to show that kind of stuff. So on our channel, we still have tons of infield. Um, we're some of the few people that are doing that. So if you're interested in seeing that kind of content, like what you saw in this video, make sure to subscribe to our channels because most dating coaches have never uh, had any infield because they don't actually have any game. They right? They've out. never approached yeah. a girl in their fucking life. You if you're out. listening to someone who has no infield, that's the equivalent of listening to a personal trainer that does audio only and or hides their fucking bullies. body. It, sh it hides their body. It hides their body, and they just like, yeah, trust me, I, I trust me, bro, I'm I'm ripped, okay. And then it's like the Wizard of Oz, like someone exposes, like it's this big fat job of the hut looking motherfucker. That's what you're doing if you're trusting some guy that's never shown infield to be a dating expert. Like the red, a lot of the red pill guys are like this. Oh, I'm an expert because I make videos in my car. Okay, cool. Um, so if you want to see something that's a little bit more, a little bit more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, experienced uh actually not if if you if you're interested in seeing content by people actually walk the walk instead of just talking the talk make sure to subscribe to our channel make sure to check out owen's channel um right now there's some pickup content on that some dating content on that that's not been the case for quite a while so i would make sure to check that out while it's there it might not be there for long um and also ours might not be there for long because who knows at what point we're gonna have to start taking away the infield taking away the more um, there's something called the, oh, what is it called? It's a, a term for what's allowed, something window. What, what's uh, allowed window. societal, uh, society, uh, what you're allowed about, to talk about. Uh, uh, I never talked about something window. I never said Something that. window. Um, okay. Window of opportunity? No. I mean, like, I mean, like, might as well just say that, though, because it is. There's an actual term that sounds cool. Okay, I'll give you a second. Uh, like a window, things, acceptable to society overton window yeah okay <laughs> there we go um there, there's something called the overton window which is what's acceptable to talk about 
um, in the current culture, right? And at this point, there's still red pill channels. They haven't been banned. There's still some game dating advice channels. But at a certain point, those are going to probably start going, just like uh, the more conservative channels. Mm -hmm. A lot of those have been... You know, like Tim Pool and uh, Steven Crowder, like they're getting their videos demonetized, getting closer to getting banned, yeah. having to move to alternative platforms, things like that. Andrew Tate, right, getting banned. So right now, it's still allowed, but it might not be for long. So make sure to watch our content, watch content like what you saw today while it's still there, because at some point we may have to basically censor ourselves and make, you know, dating advice for men's women men women they thems and you know every everyone else as well uh, that might any... be all that's allowed when uh, big brother you know de deems that, that that's the case we'll be wearing wigs so that we can get away with the shit we yeah, actually, we'll identify yeah. <laughs> we'll identify as women and then it'll be okay mm -hmm. yeah there was well, a chat gbt thing, that's right? what i was gonna say anytime i want to use chat gbt i switch the man and woman around and it allows me to find come up with titles for youtube videos now. so you ask something like i'm making a video for how men to attract women or so how men can attract women <laughs> yeah. using this and yeah. it's like i'm sorry i cannot give sexist answers because that's against it then you replace it and say women uh for women to do the same thing and, and it's like titles. sure no problemo i've got you it's the only way to get chat gbt to actually work is like switch it around when and it that kind of goes back to the overton window thing like what's allowed or what's acceptable it's it's shrinking and either we maybe we'll end up on rumble or something or uh this kind of content will just have to be watered down but this is uh really cool to see this video by owen uh, do you have any final thoughts i have nothing honestly um well subscribe to the channel let me know if you guys have any questions comment section below and with that being said yeah